Yeah, man, right here I got a pair of Royal Blue Air Foam Posit 1s from 1997. I got them on DS condition, you know what I'm saying? And just in case you don't believe me, these are OG. I got the barcode here with the star code in here. You can see, hold on, um, there it goes. 8300175100. That's the code for OGs, because I know the 2007 releases got a different style code on them. And yeah, earlier this year I picked up, you know, a pair of copper foam pauses, you know, these are hype beasts right here. And you know, when I got them, I was extremely happy with them. I thought the quality was really good in them and stuff. But I didn't have a pair of OG Royals with me, you know what I'm saying? And when I got this pair of OG Royals, I, I was like, damn, you know, the quality was beyond expectations and stuff. You know? But I want to review this shoe because not many dudes on YouTube show what this shoe is about or what it looks like on feet because this shoe is extremely rare, so I'm going to do that for you. And the, you know, the quality didn't go as bad obviously the quality got worse but it's not as bad as the Jordan releases they're doing because I was disappointed with the countdown packs and all that stuff but the main the main detail you could tell from OG's to retros is the gap on the toe is getting wider I don't know why they're doing it I guess um, it's just the way they produce the shoe it just has flaws in them I don't know but it's not as bad you know what I'm saying like when you look at it from the side, it's not as noticeable. Just when you put it from the front, like the toe box, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they still are right. I like this a lot better, though. When you wear it like this, just look raw. looks better. And the other difference you can tell from retros and OG is the ridges here. It's a lot more detailed than on other shoes. You know, on the... you. It's it's not as bad on the coppers, but on the 2010 X clamps, the ridges are like not detailed at all. It's, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just noticeable. And the carbon fibers, you can tell, the artwork is way better on the OGs. You can tell. Look at the ridges. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, a lot more detail. You could really dig in here. It's like just crave them better. You know what I'm saying? And your carbon fiber, it's a little bit more rounded, you know what I'm saying? has a better shape to it. Like this comes up a little higher. That one just looks like a semicircle, you know what I'm saying? And when I got my pair of OGs, I was able to tell that all my foams, they have this problem. I don't know why. But the left shoe actually has a smaller gap than the right shoe always and these are OG's just to let you know same pair you see the gap look my left pair of the coppers look at the right pair you see the gap I don't know why it's up with the foams even with my OG pair the gap is just bigger for some reason I don't know if does anybody have a pair of foams that doesn't this doesn't happen because all the foams I've seen and I had they'll have this problem I don't know why I mean, it's not bad, but, you know, it's just, I was freaking out when I got my coppers. I thought, you know, uh, they came out wrong, maybe B quality, but nah, it's good. And the difference between these and the 2007 releases, I don't got the 2007 releases, but I got a pair of half cents. And it's basically the colors. Like, um, if you see the half cents, the 2007 uh, releases of the foams. The, the royal blue colorway it's more metallic than the OG's the OG's are like more darker you know what I'm saying like the the royal blue is a little bit more like true blue it doesn't have that as much metallic effect on them like the half cents you know what I'm saying so this would be like the 2007 release and the OG's it's not as noticeable but when you take pictures you could you could tell just because the flash it gives it a different look to it you know what I'm saying but yeah I'm extremely happy with these shoes, and these shoes, I mean, these joints are just the joints, you know? Legendary, the, the Nike check just pops off of them. You know, a lot of people say these shoes are heavy, and they're really not so heavy, but all the weight shifts to the heel, so you can tell if you let them go, they just drop on the heel. But it's actually meant for, you know, these shoes are meant for basketball, 
So it's actually meant to give you a good stance so that when you're on the court, you give good jab steps and good stance for defense setup. So it's actually really good because this material right here, actually called Flex Posit, is really light and stable. Um, these shoes are very durable, as you can tell if you try to crease them, you just can't. These shoes are basically undestructible, they got the carbon fiber. These shoes are very durable, and like what I love about foam pots is just that you could just throw in a fresh pair and not worry about creasing them at all. Maybe the suede after a while, it gets suede creases, but that's about it. The only thing is the, you know, the translucent so, I mean, um, you just have to be careful with it. You gotta wear them, then, oh, uh, you gotta see glow it, it gets yellow. They should have put a black so in them, but you see? It gives a nice look to it. Look, it looks gummy and stuff, you know. And obviously, these look kind of yellow because they from 1997. And if you ask me, that's still really gummy though. It's just that maybe my camera doesn't give a as good lightning effect to it. But yeah, it's gummy, man. Obviously, not as gummy as my coppers because they've been out here for like 13 years and stuff, you know. The foam posits are just crazy, man. Uh, I feel these shoes are better than Jordans. I than most Jordans, a lot of Jordans, you know what I'm saying? And not many shoes are better than Jordans, but these shoes are better than Jordans in look and quality. Many Jordans, you know what I'm saying? Not all, but I'm saying some, most of them. And I don't really pick any other shoes other than Jordans many times, you know what I'm saying? But these shoes are just crazy, man. If I were to rate them, I would give them a perfect 10. Oh yeah, before I wear them joints, to show you what they look like on feet, try them on, just want to show you Nike Air on the inside, of you can see, still in there, somewhat intact, yeah, it's intact, yep, put a piece of tape so you can see, and they, they yeah, but I'm just gonna put them on to show what they look like on feet, alright. Oh, as you can tell, you're gonna rock these joints with jeans. Gotta unlace your laces a little bit, let them loose, cause they don't look good when they tight with jeans. It's just not the shoe. I mean, if you're rocking shorts, you could just lace them up, and you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's it. You could tie them, cut them joints if you want, all the way. And as you can tell, I'm gonna do two different looks. You could have your jeans cover up your one and logo in the back, or not like this. I actually like it better when it's not covered. And now, on the front, see, you could go either way. You could show your one cent logo, or not, you know what I'm saying? It's like, either look is raw, man, like, you see? Either look of it, it just goes good, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, definitely, don't wear these shoes with skinny jeans. Because it's not, it's not how it goes, you know? They don't want to look good, make your, your foot look big, like lots of Raptor shoes. It just doesn't go good with the foams. You need to get some nice baggy jeans or some slips, you know what I'm saying? And you can tell these are definitely net breakers like Nike check just pops up these joints and the blue sh the oh the royal blue metallic look to it. It's just nice. And the the gummy translucent saw is just disgusting, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving you a good nice look at it. And if you know about foam closets, you already know what the deal's up man. These shoes are mad comfortable. You already know what's up with these joints man. And basically, this is what the shoes look like with jeans. I know many dudes on YouTube don't do this, so I'm giving you a heads up of what they look like with jeans and stuff. Hopefully, you guys know how to rock foams and stuff. Showing y'all that don't know. Oh, I can't rock my coppers that good. These are good look to them. And now, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it actually looks rock. Many outfits and stuff, so. This is it, I guess. And I'm Jose and Deuce.